What's the word, y'all? Did you know that the NBA playoffs are going on right now? Because it's extremely hard to tell, y'all. I, I can, I'm, I'm going to say this. This does not feel like the playoffs. The only thing that's making it at least a little bit feel like the playoffs is that the crowds are still going crazy. Like, And then the, the Celtics are about 25 points, and the TD Garden is still rocking. I respect them for that. But other than that, I'm watching these games, and I'm like, can we just get – like when I sit down in this chair today at 7.30 and ready to watch some Heat versus Celtics, these two teams throughout the first three games will punch each other in the face in the face, and I'm like, just give us a close one. You know, we got some we got some injuries here and there, but give us a close one, right? When there's a team that goes out there and scores one basket in the first, what, six to eight minutes, you kind of get an understanding of how this is going to go. And listen, I'm a seasoned veteran when it comes to this basketball stuff, so even though the, the Miami Heat came out kind of slow, I didn't immediately write it off as an L because I know it's a game of runs right well they didn't ever really go on that run and it, it just hasn't really felt like the playoffs man shout out to the seas they have not lost back-to-back -back games in this playoffs and they lost game three in their home court it would have been the end of their season i, I think it would have been the end of their season if they would have lost the second game at home but they came out guns blazing jason tatum gave them basically nothing in game number three and in this game he was incredible but for the first time for the first time of the 2022 playoffs this does not feel like the playoffs and and my actions reflected that right i'm not giving y'all no setup video ever but in my room i have the big screen tv on the wall that's what normally majority of my attention goes to when there's a playoff game going on i put this on there we got the surround sounds within the room i turn it on and this is my focus right i have a monitor underneath it because i'm i'm at this point a dual sports fan so i'm, I'm huge into baseball right now so i was watching um blue jays versus cards on the screen beneath it right but i'm my main attention is the basketball game and then the miami heat decided that nobody wants to show up other than victor ladipo and for the first time of this 2022 playoff I flipped them. The basketball in the conference finals went on the small monitor and this random regular season game of the MLB season went on the big screen. That, that's how, how detached I am to this playoffs right now. I mean, hold on. Kevin O'Connor hit the tweet. There's only been seven clutch time minutes and an average margin of victory of 19.8 in the last 17 playoff games. Seven clutch minutes. If you don't know what clutch means, it's like five points or five minutes ago maybe that's not even it either way that's just letting you know in 17 games we've had seven minutes of clutch time like come on bro like I, like you gotta think about it like this because i know Celtics fans are probably upset because it feels like whenever they win big kenny complain but if you look kenny complained about a lot of stuff and he complains about blowouts all the time but if you're not a celtics fan and you're a neutral fan like i am and like 98 percent of the other people trying to watch these games this is not entertaining that was not entertaining now I, I agree if the bulls were doing this hell yeah i'm coming in here and i'm talking my stuff but since i am neutral here it's hard for me to talk the stuff of the seas because it was over in the first couple minutes i I'm just, I don't know, really know what the solution is, right? If, if you look at my mentions, everybody's tweeting me like, can he, can he turn into the Joker? Can he now is, um, is a, what is the main in the Superman? I don't know. Kenny's turning into a supervillain. And that, that's, that's basically what I feel like I'm doing. You know, watching these games and talk about these games with y'all is like one of the highlights of my day. And when I sit down to watch these things, and it's not even entertaining. I, I, listen, I'm saying this right now so everybody that's watching this video a couple minutes here. I'm telling you right now, for blowouts from this point on, I will not talk about them unless I, like, sometimes I force myself to make videos about things because we're in the playoffs. And I know people want to hear what I got to say for some reason. But if it's a blowout, I'm not uploading, bro. Or I'll focus on a different topic. I'll, I'll do some offseason stuff in the middle of the conference finals if we continue to get bl uh, blowouts. That's where that's where I'm at right now. What is what do I have to say? What what do I have to say other than Bam out of bio for some reason can't do anything when Robert Williams is in the lineup? Rob got this man number. He won't even look at the basket of Robert Williams is, is within the 10 feet radius, which he usually is. Jimmy Butler said there's no excuses. Terrible for performance from him. Um no Tyler Hero matters, but it ain't like he been hooping his ass off this series anyway. I mean, Victor Oladipo, if anything, Victor Oladipo, silver lining, he making himself some money this offseason. I don't know how many, how, I mean, how much money, but he's making himself some money from a guy that's been on the vet, uh, vet minimum for this season and, you know, missing the last couple seasons, it feels like, with all of these injuries and stuff. So to see him go out there in the conference finals and be the best player on a team is dope. I mentioned it earlier, even though Jay, I didn't even realize that Jason Tatum shot one for seven for three because by the time I switched to things, it, it, the game was pretty much over and he was hooping so i didn't even know he missed six of his seven threes what the hell they shot 23 percent from three 39 percent from the field overall and won this basketball game by 20 that's actually insane huh maybe there's more maybe there's more to it than <laughs> than that uh Derek white 
again, Derrick White might not ever shoot efficiently, but he's going to do all the other things. And with Marcus Smart being out with today's injury or whatever it is, um, he was huge today. But that's it. Like, that recap would have taken me 47 seconds. I'm done. I'm done doing it, yo. I'm done doing it. I would not force myself to do things. Unless, this is the only exception, if the blowout coming to game seven and somebody get laughed off the court. Like, let's be honest, bro. When I put that Suns video out, that was a one in 10, which means it was the best performing video. That video got me to half a million subscribers. That video, that video went up to trending because everybody was talking trash about the Phoenix Suns. And listen, I had to do my part. And you go back and watch my video. I wasn't actually super critical. Uh, was I critical? I was critical, but I wasn't de devaluing uh, those players or anything like some people were. But, I, you know, when you lose by 70 points in your home court in the game seven, you deserve to get laughed at a little bit. And we were laughing a little bit. So, like, tomorrow, if the Golden State Warriors close out the series in, like, convincing, convincing fashion, we might we might hold off on the video. We might talk about the NBA draft coming up because I've been doing a little bit of draft work, a, li a little bit of draft work, you know what I'm saying? I've been reading some scouting reports, listening to some podcasts, listening to other people, see what they got to say. I haven't watched a single second of film, not one, not one second of film, but I listen to other people who have watched film and kind of take bits and pieces from each, per each person, even though they might be wrong and I should probably form my own opinion. This is, this is something that I will say. You don't need to take about everything. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to take about everything. I don't need to take about Jeremy Sohan. I'll listen to what other people got to say and take that at value. I don't need to have my own personal opinion about him after, you know, not watching him at all. What are you going to watch? Want me watch a 10-minute highlight reel of him and then give y'all my opinion? There's a highlight reel of me out there on YouTube, and it make me look like I'm at least an average basketball player. You know what I'm saying? Highlight reel is going to make everybody look dope and it's not the case. When there's a when there's a blowout, I ain't got nothing to talk about. So actually, I do. Okay, so I, I I've been going on to Twitter and trying to figure out what what are people what are people blaming for the blowouts because that is the topic of conversation right now, which is unfortunate again because this is the conference finals and we should be talking about the X and O's or the the different matchups or whatever. Um, everybody's talking about blowouts because that's a prominent thing right now, and a lot of people are are trying to credit it to the scheduling scheduling, um, because we're going day after day or. Game, gap, game, gap. And there's no two-day rest. There's no three-game rest. Even though we got some of that in the second round, at least a little bit of it in the second round. Um, but I was just looking at previous seasons. In previous years, it's always game, no game, game, no game. So I'm not completely sure <laughs> if that is the reason why. I still think that the the lack of variation in the scoring matters. Like, But then again, today, I just mentioned that the boss itself just shot like 20% from three and still won by 20. I don't know what the reason is, y'all. Whatever it is, I want it fixed immediately because I hate those tweets that say, Brian not in the playoffs, it don't feel the same. But y'all, you know, I might be agreeing. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Wow, somebody on Reddit has a huge write-up. Let, let's read, let's read their opinion. Y'all know I like to deep dive on Reddit every once in a while. So let's let's go ahead and do that. Please. Oh my god. I okay. I knew it was a lot, but I didn't think it was gonna be this much. This is from uh You Still Take Damage. Um, okay, so let's see what he said. Let me preface this by saying that he played like S H I T. And no one deserved this game. Depot was the only dude that showed up. That's what I said. But overall, just horrible. Okay, cool. The NBA condensing games like this is absolutely awful for basketball. Oh, snap. This is act this is actually true. Because like I said, I went to look at previous years to see if it was one game break, one game break, and it was, but I didn't go far enough to go pre-playing. And this is this is what this person is saying. The NBA condensed these games to try to fit in the play-in by and also still have the NBA Finals take place in June. The real exception, the real only exception was the Bucks Celtics having a longer break and that's because the Bucks arena was booked. I didn't I didn't even know that was the case. Like I said, they had the one in the second round, but I didn't know it was because the arena was booked. The players are exhausted and running on fumes, which is leads to so many nagging injuries and all teams playing undermanned. Injuries happen, yes, but it's turned into a war of att att attrition. To see stuff like this and suddenly how can anyone blame players for low management? Huh. Oh, does it turn into a low management debate? I'm kind of here for this. They have to preserve their bodies because the playoffs just become a grind to see what team has the most healthy players left. They need to change. Reducing the number of games, elimination, eliminating back-to-backs, especially. Oh, so he's thinking. So they're thinking about the overarching thing and not necessarily just about the playoffs. They're thinking that, hey, get rid of the back-to-backs in the regular season. And I, I would assume that majority of NBA fans would not mad, would not care if the regular season goes a little bit longer. The overall, even postseason goes a little bit longer if that means the product is better. If we needed extra days of rest so that every single game out of blower, I'm cool. We're going a day or two without some basketball alone. Listen, I will be okay. We will be okay if that means that the average margin of victory is not 20 points. So again, shout out to you still take damage because th this was a pretty good write-up with their opinion about why we're getting to the point where we are 
Also didn't even realize the 18 total points for the starters of the Miami Heat. That is dreadful. P.J. Tucker had 17 points last game, and they were a big win. He had a, a, a donut today. He had the same amount of points as I did, and I've been sitting in this chair since 7.30. That's not true. That don't Let me stop acting like that's all my life is. It's really not. I have a whole daughter that I'm, you know. Anyway, uh, maybe I'll see y'all tomorrow. We'll see if, it, if it's a close game or something to talk about. Uh, I'll be here.